Hello everyone, this is Wes James, and I'm here to bring you another Premiere Pro cool effect. As I said in my last tutorial, I was going to show you how to make a Versus promo. Due to freelance projects coming up, I've had to delay that for the time being. However, I will be showing you something I've done in a freelance project, which was a fun effect to create. Today's effect is called the Slot Machine Effect. I came up with this effect when I had to do a Las Vegas themed project and thought it'd be cool to see footage animated as if it was inside a slot machine. For this effect, I created a slot machine overlay in After Effects, which I recommend you download the link below if you want to follow along. It's 720p, but can be scaled up to 1080p or scaled down to SD. Here's a preview of what we'll be doing today. Alright, let's get to it. First, bring in three clips that you want to animate on your timeline. In case you're confused what type of timeline I have, it's a 720p timeline and I have a combination of 720p and 1080p clips. Make sure your clips have the same duration and they're stacked on top of each other. Select your clips in tracks 2 and 3. Right click and select Enable to disable them. Go to your effects browser and type in Replicate. Apply the Replicate filter to the clip on track 1. Go back to the effects browser and type in Crop. Apply the Crop filter to the clip on track 1. Go back to the effects browser once again and type in Offset. Select the Offset filter from the Distort folder and apply it to the clip on track 1. These filters have to be applied in this order for this effect to work properly, so if you apply them in any different order, you'll get different results. If you haven't already, download the Slot Machine Toolkit zip file and import the contents into your project browser. There should be a movie for the Slot Machine overlay and the coins. Place the slot machine overlay on track 4. With the slot machine overlay selected on track 4, go to the effects control panel, twirl down the opacity parameter, and bring the opacity down to 50%. This will aid us in determining how to position, crop, and animate our clips. Select your first clip on track 1. Go to the effects control panel and open up the replicate filter. Change the count from 2 to 3. Select the crop filter. Crop from the left, right, top, or even bottom until you've highlighted the one row of video that you want. Go to the motion parameter and change the scale from 100% to 73. Reposition a clip so that it's in the right slot. Once you've cropped the first clip and positioned it in the right slot, it's time to set some position keyframes. With the first clip selected in the timeline, go to your effects control panel. Set a keyframe for the position 5 frames from its endpoint. Move the play at about 10 frames and set another keyframe for position. Go back to the first keyframe for the position. Move the clip up off screen by changing its Y value. With the first clip still selected and you still in the effects control panel, go to the offset filter. Move your playhead to the second position keyframe. Set a keyframe for shift center 2 where the second position keyframe is. Move the playhead about 20 frames and set another keyframe for shift center 2.
Change the Y position to somewhere between 1500 to 1700. We have our first clip cropped and keyframe, but we need to apply these effects to the other two clips. Select the clips in tracks 2 and 3. Right click and select Enable to bring them back. Right click the clip on track 1. Select Copy. Marquee select the clips on tracks 2 and 3. I'm going to paste attributes with my custom keyboard shortcut Control V. Use the default Premiere Pro shortcut if you haven't changed your keyboard settings or use the menu command in the edit drop down menu. All the clips have the same settings and we didn't have to reinvent the wheel. Let's position clip 2 to the center slot and clip 3 to the left slot. Since I had to reposition the clips on tracks 2 and 3, make sure the X value on the two position keyframes match. Select the slot machine overlay and go to the effects control panel and bring its opacity from 50 back to 100%. So far so good, however we have one problem all these clips appear at the same time. Let's offset the timing of these clips so that it's staggered. Select clips 2 and 3 and type in plus 25. This moves both clips 25 frames from their original position. Deselect the clip on track 2 and type in plus 25 to move the clip on track 3 25 more frames. Now it's staggered. The clip should line up with the slot machine overlay's handle going back into its original position. If it doesn't, make adjustments where necessary with the position of where the clips are on the timeline. After the handle goes back to its original position, we need to create freeze frames on all three clips. Highlight tracks 1, 2, and 3 and make sure track 4 isn't highlighted. Go to the Sequence drop-down menu and select Add Edit. This will add a cut where the playhead is on all tracks that are highlighted. The next step will require you to select each individual cut and create a freeze frame. Select the cut clip on track 1 and right click. Select Frame Hold. Make sure the Hold On checkbox is selected Make sure Endpoint is in the drop down menu and hit OK. Repeat this step for the clips on tracks 2 and 3. This will create a freeze frame where the clips begin. Trim the out point of all three freeze frames so the out point matches up with the out point of the slot machine overlay. Go to your project browser and click on the New Item button. Select Black Video. Make sure it matches the width and height of your project sequence and hit OK. Select all the clips in the overlay and move them up one track. Place the black video on track 1 and extend its length to match the overlay. Go to the Effects Browser and type in Crop. Apply the Crop filter to the black video. With the black video selected in Track 1, go to the Effects Control Panel. Select the Crop filter so you can see it in your Canvas window. Crop the black video from the right until it's within the boundary of the base of the slot overlay. Marquee select your three freeze frames. Go to the project browser and type in black. 
Select the black and white filter from the image control folder and apply it to the three freeze frames. Move the slot overlay up three tracks. I'm going to add some titles that I created in the Premiere Pro title tool. These aren't slot symbols, but feel free to import slot symbols for your own project. I created these by typing miscellaneous symbols on the keyboard and using the spacebar to space them out. Place them where the freeze frames occur. Trim the L point to match the length of the overlay. I'm going to add the coins.mov to the timeline. Place it above the slot machine overlay. With this MOV, I rendered it out so it can occur when you want it to, so feel free to place it when you want the coins to appear. I'm going to place it about 15 frames from the endpoint of the freeze frame. Trim the out point to match the length of the overlay. I'm going to add a jackpot title I created in the title tool. The font I used to create this jackpot title is called TMBG Severe Tire Damage. It can be downloaded at defont.com for free. I gave it a yellow gold color to make it stand out. Place it above the coins.mov and have it start where the coins MOV does as well. Trim its out point to match the length of the coins.mov. With the jackpot title still selected, go to the effects control panel and twirl down the opacity parameter. Set a keyframe at the endpoint for the opacity at 100%. Move the playhead about 10 frames. Decrease the opacity from 100% to 60. Move the playhead another 10 frames. Bring it back to 100%. Move the playhead once again, 10 more frames. Decrease it back down to 60%. Marquee select your opacity keyframes. Right click on one of the keyframes and select copy. Move the play at about 10 frames and hit, pay and hit command V to paste. I'm going to move to the last keyframe of the copied opacity keyframes. Repeat this step of pasting your opacity keyframes until the end of your jackpot title. Once you've added your blinking animation to the jackpot title, it's time to nest all these items into one sequence. Select all the items in your timeline. Press Option C or the default Premiere Pro shortcut to nest items. In the project browser, let's rename this so we know what layer we're dealing with. Go back to your timeline and select the nested sequence. With the nested sequence selected in your timeline, go to the effects control panel and twirl down the motion parameter. Change the X position so that the slot machine animation is centered in the screen. If you have to, turn on the title safe, safe margins in the canvas window. The next step isn't necessary, but it's a nice addition. Move the next sequence up to track two. Place the video motion graphics background on track one. This motion graphics background is meant to give the animation a little life, but it doesn't have an overall impact on it in the grand scheme of things. Now that we got our slot machine animation and our motion graphics background in place, let's render this and see what we got. I'll be back with you guys in just a few. After the render, I added sound effects from Digital Juice, Freesound.com, and Blastwave effects to sell the effect. 
I set an in and out point from the beginning to the end of our animation. Let's see what we got. And there you go, a slot machine animation in Premiere Pro using elements created in After Effects, footage from video tracks from Digital Juice, and titles from the title tool in Premiere Pro. This effect was something that helped bring the Vegas theme I was going for on a project I did last October in Final Cut Pro. It was one of my favorite effects overall, and it helped me see that placing footage and objects and then animating them according to the object was a clever idea. If I used After Effects or a 3D program only, I can definitely go further on this concept. This works well on a small scale level. Feel free to take this further if you can. If you're interested in the After Effects project I used to create the slot machine overlay and the coins, leave me a comment or send me a message. Right now, I'm hard at work trying to come up with Music Video Effects Volume 3. I'll feature 6 to 7 effects that can be done in Premiere Pro CS5 as well as Final Cut Pro 7. So tune in. Here's some more news as well. As of yesterday, I've become an avid media composer editor and the tutorials will finally be rebranded NLE Ninja Effects. NLE, of course, standing for Nonlinear Editing. With this rebrand, I'll try to diversify the effects by featuring stuff from Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, and Avid, as well as After Effects, Photoshop, Particle Illusion, and any other softwares I could think of. I'm in the process of having a website created with a blog and also links to all the tutorials I've done over the past few months. Also, I'm creating a new intro for all this, as well as outro, that you won't even believe once, until you see it. I have to undergo some training for Media Composer, as it is a program I haven't used in a few years, so tutorials will come when I have time to post them, so they'll come here and there from this point on. If you have any questions concerning Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, comment on this video or any other videos I've posted on YouTube or Vimeo, and I'll try my best to answer them to the best of my ability. Also, check out this site. Koenigs.com slash posthaste. The author offers a free project organizer script, which will create a folder for a multitude of programs you may or may not use when working on a project. The template can be modified to your liking. I believe it is a must-have for any editor who's dealing with small or big-scale projects and need to keep organized. It has kept me organized on the last 10 projects since then, and I haven't looked back. Now I can't do a project without using this template in any situation. With all the news and all the things I've dropped on you guys, It'll be a while till I feature another tutorial. Hopefully I'll have another one with the Versus promo for next week. But until then, stay creative.